So we went to the garbage dump three days, and I think that's what challenged us as a group the most. People live in just these conditions that are just so awful that you couldn't even imagine them in North America where we live this like wonderful cushy life. And just that people would spend like 14 hours a day digging through other people's trash to try and scrape together just like a little bit of money for food was just like mind blowing. I found the dump challenging because the kids that live there, it, they don't necessarily have a hope of getting out of the dump. Um, the girls might be able to marry out, but the boys, if they're, if they're in that class, that's where they'll stay. And I think about our own kids and how much we protect them and want the best for them and we'll do anything for them to have opportunities. And these kids, don't really have that. My heart was breaking for them and their future. The challenge at the dump was also holding out your hands to these workers who were digging in the garbage and trying to embrace them with some, with Christ's love when they're in this situation. And it feels like they don't really accept you because you're just coming from a whole different world. And it's hard to find a level that you can engage with them. I saw God at work in the team. I mean, first of all, bringing the team together, I think it was a hand-picked team by God. I don't think anybody could have brought a team like this together. It was a, I've been on a number of trips and this was a fantastic team. <clears throat> I saw God work in the smiles of the people that I know all of us will take home in our hearts. I don't know any place in the whole trip that God wasn't at work. And now, after the trip is over, he's still at work. Awesome. Love covers all. Enlightening. Familia. Relational. Now what? If I had to choose one word, I'd definitely choose understanding because that was something we had to gain a lot during the trip, especially in understanding their lifestyle and why they did certain things the way they did and a lot of the culture. Transformational, because just, I think that all of us can agree that we didn't, le or we left a completely different person that we came, just because God worked in our lives so incredibly. I think I've become more patient, because working with kids who don't understand what you're saying and trying to point and say a word that you think they know, but they probably don't. Um, coming back home, if someone doesn't like understand me, I know to repeat it slowly or, you know, I try harder in that area, I think. I think for me, it's the fear of going back. And I don't mean going back to Ecuador. I would love to go back to Ecuador. But going back to the condition I was in before the trip. Um, I struggled today a lot at work. and. I know that, uh, that God has changed me to a certain degree, but I want to keep changing. Now, after what we've seen in the dump in Ecuador, how can we take that at home? Take that home? And I think it hit me when I was sitting in traffic on Memorial Drive and there was a homeless man walking through um, asking for some donations, some food, some money, whatever. And I think maybe instead of just looking the other way when he walks by my window, maybe I need to roll down my window and give him the granola bar I have or the apple I have in my bag. When you're on a mission trip and you're not in your normal surroundings, <laughs> I find it's, you're very focused on um, those around you and, and maybe looking for ways you can serve or smile or say a kind word or, and then yesterday I was in Superstore getting groceries in my normal life 
and it hit me, why do I not think about that here? Everything that you've experienced has just changed the way you look at the world. Like, the problems that I may have like dwelled on before I went, they seem like nothing now. Like, they don't even exist. And it feels so weird to just go to school and like have everything be the same around you when you're not the same inside. And I think that this trip has just shown me a lot about myself that I never knew before.